Hey, how you guys doing? This is Matt, Press Left for Options, and today I'd like to introduce our new mini-series based on Smash Wii U and Smash 3DS. We like to dub Smash Talk. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I want to do something special with this episode. You know, Smash Brothers 4 is coming up, Wii U 3DS. So you know what? I want to make a little side thing we're doing here. It's called Smash Talk. I'm here with Jeremy, Fred, and Jeff. And we're starting uh, today's first episode of Smash Talk. Here at Press Select for Options. Today we're going to be talking about. What's up? What's that? What's that? What's that? No, I'm just doing what we're we doing. I don't know. I'm just Any character, it don't matter. We're playing for fun. Yeah. We're having fun. It's a fun game. Oh, Let's okay. have some fun. So here at Smash Talk, we wanted we wanted to talk about certain aspects of the Smash 4, as we like to call it, or Smash Wii U 3DS. Will we speculate the future of Smash and what they're going to include in Smash 4 and everything like that? And today, the one topic we want to talk about is the local online multiplayer. How is it going to work? in Smash 4. So, you know, we all know that Brawl, the online for that was, uh, whoa, pretty bad. <laughs> it was very bad. And, uh, I mean, if you played with someone on the same coast as you, if they're your next door neighbor or something, you got a pretty good connection. But other than that, it was pretty bad. Freaking, uh, random matches with four players is pretty much useless. And especially if the... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Sonic! Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh. What happened? Anyway, pretty much, if you, were play, if you were playing a random match with random people and someone dropped out or someone had a really bad connection, it was pretty much unplayable. So, freaking, uh, we were hoping, you know, we're all hoping that, you know, Smash 4, Smash Wii U and 3DS will, uh, you know, be significantly better. Uh, what do you think about that, Jeremy? How do you think the online's going to play? I think it'll be pretty... I, I, I honestly think it'll be way better because, I mean... You can't get any worse than what we got. I don't know how you can mess it up. I don't see how you could. Uh, it seems like they, I mean, I mean, I don't own a Wii U, but from what I've seen, it looks like the what, what they've got going in the online infrastructure is much better than what they had. So I, I think it could be pretty solid. What, 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 do you, what do you think, Jeff? What do you, what do you think on the online with well, the 3DS and Wii U? For me, for Brawl, it wasn't so bad, but again, I was probably people who weren't really close to me. I also didn't play online like you guys did, so I... I really can't comment on the whole online thing for this game, but uh, uh, if they fuck it up, uh, I don't know, they got their thumbs up their ass. So like, yes. let's, let's um, hope that's not the case. Uh, no, I, I don't know. it's probably gonna be fine. It's their biggest game. This is their huge. This this game next year is gonna be their biggest seller, and if they fuck it up, if they fuck up the online with their biggest seller. And besides, I told you, Sakurai's got uh, the game in his back pocket. He has a, he's, just, <laughs> he's just waiting to release it. He has it right there. He's like, he's like, don't get it soon enough. Just so whenever I feel like it. You know how Sakurai is sticking his dick everywhere. I per I personally think it's going to be a bit better. I mean, a bit, not a bit. I mean, a bit's a long a word. A bit, get it? Uh, oh, 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 we're on the Castlevania stage, NES. Woo! But no, a bit. Oh, I just killed myself. No, a bit is, is the wrong word. I think it's be significantly better. It's just, just I have high hopes for it. They're going to have a better online infrastructure because the Wii U has a better online infrastructure. So I, I feel like the online is something to look forward to, especially, you know, since everyone, like, online is the crave now. And it, the online for the Wii wasn't really that strong with any title, really, besides, I guess, like, first-person shooters Plus and racers. Even Tatsunoko was pretty Monster bad. Hunter. Tatsunoko. Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter was, was the best the, example. Was the exception. So Fred, what do you in think about opinion. all of that non, all this nonsense with the, with the oh, You know what? I'm gonna get raped by three of my friends anyway in a match. You know, just teaming up on me because you guys are assholes. Just, yeah. Long story short, Fred was wrecking us on an online match at Brawl, so we all teamed up against him. He was the only one not there locally. So we're like, I'm getting tired of getting my butt whooped by uh, Fred here. Pikachu. So we're Pikachu. All day. So we uh, we kind of just went ham on him. Anyway, okay. So I know I said 3ds earlier when we were talking about that online, but I, one thing that's been worrying me personally, and I don't know, I'm being told that that's not going to happen, is the uh, the 3ds version have online. That's another thing I'm worried about because I'm pretty sure Sakurai said that you know the contents could be roughly the same. There's going to be slight differences, but they're going to be roughly the same for each version. And I'm a, I know 3DS is, you know, a less powerful system and everything, so I'm a little worried as to if they'll include, you know, actual online in it, or is this going to be a local multiplayer experience, <laughs> which I'm hoping is not the case. I mean, even if they do make it local, I hope they make some sort of relay tool for it, like the Monster Hunter, which is pretty much Nintendo's version of Ad-Hoc, but I'm hoping that's not the case. Uh, what do you guys think about that? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere yeah. that they're going to include online in the 3DS version. I'm pretty sure it's already confirmed. I don't know, I got to double check. I got to re-look it up. If but we I'm find anything, sure. I'll link it on the video. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look at it afterwards. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I saw something. Pretty well, sure. What games have online on the 3DS? Uh, actually, uh, Kid Icarus. Monster Hunter. Yeah, Kid Icarus. Yeah, 
Moss Hogger. Moss Hogger doesn't have the lock. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It has the relay tool, like I said. Fuck you, Captain. Peter Chris does. Doesn't Animal Crossing or no? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. You can visit each other. So there are games. There are games that have online for the Wii U. I mean, for the 3DS. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like. I just didn't know because I don't own the 3DS personally. Because I'm just saying, because, like, you know, sometimes a handheld version of any game that also has a console version usually gets the, you know, short end of the stick and I'm dead. But so, I'm just, that's one of my personal concerns. I mean, I'm pretty sure Nintendo will include some sort of online that will involve, you know, you playing with your friends and everything like that. I'm just, I'm just hoping they don't make it, uh, I'm hoping it plays just as good, if not better, than the console version. But, uh, hopefully that's not a case and it will just be included. I mean, both games are going to have roughly the same content, so, I mean, like, hopefully, you know, most likely you're picking up the, the Wii U version for 60 and the 3DS version for probably 40 at most. So, I mean, who knows? He might cut something to, you know, make up costs. Who knows? I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt, main, I doubt it, The main reason is, remember what they said? They got two different stages. The handheld version is handheld-like stages, and this the console version is going to have console-like stages. Regardless of what characters or content yeah. is going to be on either version, it's not going to matter, because Nintendo's just going to make that excuse, oh, well, they got two different uh, two different stages. What are, what are you going to do? Well, yeah. I, Miyamoto's I, like, whatever. I, I, I mean... I mean, I, I just don't want people to, like. Probably they're I, gonna I, do I don't think Nintendo will want the people who got the 3DS version to feel like they got the like the you know the short inferior, end of the stick, the short end of the stick, the inferior version, and all that. So hopefully that's not the word of that. No. Dude, what? I hate this. Oh, I, hate oh, this I thing. love it. This stage is all right, man. You got why do you get those chaters? Hey, it's all right, but you can't grab onto the. Oh, oh everyone no. got right. Oh, oh. So another another point I want to talk about was Game uh, Watch is sick. Was. It was a ranking system. So was, now, we all know that Brawl had no sort of ranking system whatsoever. We know other Nintendo games did, like uh, Mario Kart Wii, even though I really don't call it a ranking system. It was more like a point system. The more you won, the more points you got, <laughs> but there was no real, like, there was no real, like, rank or leaderboards or anything like that. So I'm hoping, I'm personally hoping, oh, God. I'm, <laughs> I'm personally hoping that they include some sort of ranking system, you know. So when you get into random fights, and everything that, you know, they put you against the appropriate players and stuff like that. You know, you're not just a new person playing Smash, jumping to someone who's been a vet for years, and getting, you know, your ass whooped pretty much. I was kind of hoping that they would do something kind of like what Capcom does with Street Fighter and Marvel. I'm sure someone out there is going to be like, oh, dope. Street but, Fighter? Marvel. I mean, I think that they had a, a pretty good ranking system uh, that go on with that. Or even Injustice. Well, actually, no, not Injustice. They don't have a ranking system. Oh, they don't? Um, they have a level system, don't they? They have a level system. They don't have a ranking system. But, uh, Street Fighter and, uh... <laughs> oh! And Marvel. <laughs> what happened? I died. <laughs> Street Fighter and Marvel had something like that. And it works pretty well. You get paired up with people, you know, that are of equal level. Given there are some, uh, exceptions, like if, uh, there's not many people online at the moment, you will get paired up against a high-level player, but yeah. that's that's one small exception, and that happens with any ranking game system, pretty much. I mean, game. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this happening? But, like, oh. I'm hoping they don't take the Mario Kart, like, we have, like, you know... Uh, direction at it and just make it a point system where like hey you won this match here's an extra 100 points for you but you're not truly ranked per se I'm hoping they do add some rank system you know so you better keep so you know you know how you know how much you're whooping that ass online and, you know how, how good you're doing how bad you're doing you know maybe you know so like <laughs> hey I'm, I'm rank I'm, I'm like rank like you know 50 or something like that I, I, don't, I don't know how they're gonna do it but you know every game does it different and he put you up against another rank 50 or rank 49 or something like that. I just hope that's something because, you know, the lack of a ranking system is kind of... It, it didn't make Brawl Thor or anything like that. I mean, who really played Brawl online unless you're like one of those game facts people who just went on to find matches on, yeah, on your people, East Coast or West Coast? Those people took it seriously. They did, man. And you know what? They're pretty good. I'll give them that. But, you know, you, you got those people... You get, you get those purists who are like, I'm not taking this game online because, you know, frames are dropped. I can't control my character. Every time I press left or right on the control pad, it doesn't come out until seconds later. That kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like that Game and Watch? Oh, oh, just you? Oh, me? Yeah. That wasn't you. That was that was. Friendly. No, before I got you. Oh, well, because you just go out there and throw those those hammers out. Those hammers are great. Yeah, another another thing about online, I hope they do is uh, I hope when you actually look for a random match, they don't force you to be in the four man free for all. I'm kind of hoping they. Do. Oh yeah. I'm kind of yeah. hoping they let you do like you know maybe like a two on two team. Or they let you do like a one versus one. Yeah, the option to yeah. What you or your first yeah. three sandbags. Because the only <laughs> thing you can do, the only thing you can do in, uh, the only thing you can do in brawl was either four man free fall, four man uh, team battle. And you know, it, I like the four man team battle, but I hope the uh, people are probably gonna hate me for this. I hope they take the PlayStation All Stars uh, step and like 
hey, if I want to play with Jeremy and do a ranked match together, did boom. Did you really just bring that game Yes, up? I did. did you the really? game was brought up. The game it's was already brought up. dead. Let it rest. <laughs> Stop it. But I'm saying, I hope they take that approach and say, hey, look, Jer- like me and Jeremy want to do like a ranked match together. So I can invite him to my room or my lobby, and then we can both well, search for a ranked match together. There's always game facts, and you can post on the boards and try to get <laughs> That's a lot of work. So get- Fred Coach. Fred Coach. Wait, you don't want to <laughs> give people your phone number? Oh, hell no. I don't want to give people my phone number. Oh, is it time? Oh yeah, power battle. Let's do it. Always at that time. So I, I hope I hope they let you do something like that, or at least at least a one versus one. And I hope they let you uh, switch items as well. That that'll be something nice. Oh yeah, yeah. switching items would be a nice. Or well, Mr. Saturn playable. What do you mean switch it like tearing them off? Like, yeah, turn let, them all let you turn them off, or maybe. maybe oh yeah. Not cause... turn them all off. Turn off some of them. I mean, I didn't yeah. own a Wii, and I didn't own Brawl, but I love to play this game. Um. Did they do that in Brawl? Like, ah. Did they allow you to... Uh... In Brawl, if you did a random match, I don't think so. But if you did like a friend match, you could... Uh, you the, the thing I didn't like about Brawl is that like, let's say I want to play with that item. In Brawl, if I did a friend match with like, let's say you and Fred and uh, Jeff here. Like we all had our... We're all in our own ways. You can turn... I could turn the items off. But let's say... we Let's say we all turn the items off, but Fred keeps the items on. There's a slim chance that the items will be on when we start because Fred chose them to be on. Oh, I see. That's the kind of system they had on the Wii. So like you all, pretty much everyone had to agree to turn off the items, or there was a chance you can get them. And you know that's cool and all, but like you know if you don't want to play with items, if one person chooses it, and you know if I want to say one person chooses it, you should be stuck with it. But like I hope that's the thing where you can just turn it off and be like, hey, you want to fight with items or without items? Let's, let's turn it off. Okay, universally so let's turn it off. Options on. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But, uh, I just hope they do that one versus one, ranked matches, and stuff like that. And, you know, I can invite you to my lobby and everything like that. I don't think I've been to this stage. This I don't is... think any of us have. <laughs> yeah, you did. Exactly. So here's a topic we all, we already know is not going to happen. But I want to talk about it anyway. Uh... The, the lack of crossplay. I, you don't know how bad I want it because, I, first of all, I don't, I don't want to just buy a Wii U just yet. I don't, I don't want, to be honest, I don't think I want to own one at the moment. I don't know if I'm ready to commit. I, I have a 3DS, and I like it. I love it. I plan on getting this for the 3DS, but I can't play with you. Well, I'm getting both, so you can't I mean, play well, with I mean, when you, get the, when you get the 3DS version, I can't play with you. But they I would like to, but Nintendo, I was already just like, you know what? Or I should say, stop your eyes. And Nintendo. Well, you know, they are just like, you know what? No, crossplay. Too bad. So sad. Well, you gotta, you also gotta look at this way, you know, someone, I, on this form I go through, someone brought up a good point. Is that, like, most games that are cross play, like PlayStation All-Stars, for example, yes, I'm bringing it up again, <laughs> was made, was made from the get-go to be cross play. Which could, which could have been the case for Smash, but it wasn't. The thing about it, the thing about PlayStation All-Stars, though, you gotta realize that because it's on the Vita as well and it's cross play, it took, it took a few hits when it comes to, you know, the graph, well, the way it looks graphically. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. And man. other games. Sorry. But that goddamn hammer is as strong as Ganon's kick. I well, love it's supposed, it. It's supposed to be. It? I love it. Yeah, Continue. Anyway, like games like games like uh, PlayStation All Stars and stuff was was made to do that from the ground up. Games like even uh, Crystal Chronicles: Echoes of Time was pretty much a DS game made for the Wii as well, so you can play two players on the Wii or the 3DS. I mean on DS. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But like it's it's understandable why they didn't do it. But I was kind of like because I guess they didn't want to take a graphical hit or a, or they didn't want to limit the Wii U version, yeah. which is fine. I understand that. But like at the same time, I think that, at the same time, like I, 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 you know we're in that time where that should have been an option in my opinion. I mean I'm not gonna miss it much. I'm gonna get both versions anyway. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spending a surplus of hundred dollars on this game because I'm gonna get the Wii U and the 3 version. Well, I'm gonna get it. They well, won't be- hey, it's no better with me. I get, I've got every I know, version. You're of, gross. I, don't I got care. every. Just to let the record state Ooh. on camera, thing, <laughs> I yeah. own every version of Blaze Blue on PS3 and also have the Vita. You got the 360 version too. <laughs> every version I said on the PS3 and on the Vita. So yeah, I have every one. So I can see where it's coming from. The, the lack of crossplay does make me sad. Especially like a lot of people, you can't blame people for thinking it was going to have some sort of crossplay option because they, re- they reveal both at the There's same time. more 3DS owners in the video. Exactly, that too. So you you would you would think that would be something to include. Oh, what's that? What's <laughs> yeah, that? There's a lot of it. It's uh, it's yeah, it's F Zero, but what? It's Mutiny, I believe. Oh damn, yeah. that's a lot better than the other one. Yeah, it is. Is this like oh, Captain? Oh, 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 oh. Is this like Captain Falcon's like, like when he does a special thing? Yeah, that's where you fall in. Also, so he goes like, oh. Wait, that was a, they could design a whole 
level? No, this this is actually in Brawl. That level's in Brawl. I never yeah. seen it. Yeah, it's in yeah, Brawl. You just never played it. But anyway, I actually, did we did we address that we're playing uh, Project M? Oh. Our viewers don't know we're playing Project I'm pretty, M. I'm pretty sure they do by the. Well, uh, if you're pretty stupid and don't notice all the Pokemon that are playable. Then yeah, but that was in that was in Brawl Plus. They separated them from Brawl Plus. That they did, that they did. So, but, uh, yeah. and here's, here's the last point I want to make before we end this. And it's something, like, I, I'm pretty sure everyone's wondering. You know, Sakurai is a pretty, uh, like, he, he, he had that article. Sakurai had that questionnaire with that article was saying, you know, people don't live up to my standards when it comes to Smash Brothers. That's why Smash Brothers comes out so good. Do you think, you know, because, you know, he, he does, he, you know, he does, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to affect the integrity of his, oh my god, of his product. Do you, uh, do you guys think in the future, in Smash, will we see balance patches? Uh, that's very oh. not likely. I don't otherwise, think so Otherwise, he would not, you know, like I said before, he would not, or I would say off camera, off camera, I'm gonna fuck you guys. Uh, there's no way this would happen, because otherwise the game would just be delayed forever. Yeah. Then he would never let the game go. Like There'll a, be another brawl where you delay the game, what? Yeah. When you delay the game, what, three times? Yeah, pretty much. Oh man, people! People on December third, they were pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the pre this is gonna be the perfect uh, Christmas present for me, <laughs> December third, and, and then Reggie was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like the it's like Twilight Princess. Remember when that got delayed like crazy? They had to invert the game, bro. <laughs> the whole game, kaboom. Yeah, well, it doesn't mean shit in front of my hammer. Uh, I just hope, like, I hope they, you know, keep the smash. I hope Sakurai cares. Oh, um, damn. I hope Sakurai does, it, it cares enough for the game, you know, because Smash Brothers is pretty much his baby. Feel like, you know, you know, support the game after its release and continue to do so for years to come. Kind of like how in Brawl they had like the whole picture sharing and everything. You know, they kept that going for quite a while before they finished it. And I, I'm just hoping they, they, you know, they stick with it and like, you know, if if like they release a game and like and like fuck. <laughs> oh, nice. I was wondering what you're doing. Oh, oh this is what happens when I talk and play. Anyway, and like, you know, like, let's say, like, they Fox is a like, retardedly, like, broken character, like, oh my god. What are you doing? Man? I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I just hope, like, you know, we see patches, like, uh, hoping it's not, like, on the Capcom level, where, like, well, actually, with, with Street Fighter 4 is not too bad. Maybe, like, on the Play PlayStation All-Stars level, where, like, they're patching it every week. I hope it's not on that level, but I, I hope, I hope to see a yearly, or, or at least, uh, you know, not by a yearly, what's the word for, like, Semi semi annual you know patchwork or something like that you know just to make it a little fair make it a little even you know the you know to patch some things online to fix online bugs I, I just hope you know they stick with it isn't isn't that why why Sakurai goes to work now to make sure everything is somewhat balanced I mean I, I don't know, I don't I honestly don't know if I agree necessarily agree with the game patches I don't know. or if it's Smash Brothers needs a patch I don't think it needs a patch well for example like in melee with the whole ice climbers thing. The grab, with the, with the, whole, the, the wobbling the grab. Wobble, wobbling I'm pretty sure if they could pass at the time, that would be something worth patching. You gotta realize Nintendo is still new to the whole the internet exists. Thing. That I agree with. They they're so new. Like Sakurai, yeah, you're right. This is his baby. He, he really, you know, he's really protective of it and shit. But he's not he's not gonna do any balance updates or anything like that. Cause Remember that one article? He's like fighting game community and competitive players. Yeah, they're hobbyists. We're hobbyists because we play um, we play fighting games oh, competitively. Right, I you know what I, you know what this this stem this goes back a long way as long as I can remember with competitive fighting games. You're, you're labeled a certain thing because you want to play more competitively. Like I told you guys back in, when I was in high school, like I bring my PS2 and. We play Soul Calibur 2 or Guilty Gear, or whatever, and I'd, I'd pretty much always win. But you know, people would stop playing, and I asked, "Why are people stop playing?" Dude, no one's winning. You're the only one. I'm like, "Well, we can get better," and they wouldn't do it. You know, and that's how they—that's how Sakurai sees it. Like, I don't want to be competitive. Then people will stop playing. That's how they—that's how he sees it. But but you also got to realize, like then again, like people people were calling BS that and it's just, like if people were calling out Nintendo saying they'll never patch Mario Kart 3DS or the Mario Kart 7. With the whole, uh, what is that, Wahoo Wahoo map, whatever, where people were like falling off the map and yeah. spawning like halfway done with the race. Yeah. Oh, no, that, Pe yeah, well, people were saying were, that, was, that was how it was going. They were actually glitching through it so they could win. Yeah, and people, like, people were saying Nintendo would never patch that, and like, lo and behold, they did. Like, so, I mean, they, they, they can do it, it is a thing. 
You have to cry about it enough. Yeah, exactly. So you have to I mean, put like, your tears into a jar and send it to Reggie. I know, I know. Sakurai doesn't really care no, too much. He really too much does for the, not uh, care, does he? For the uh, competitive scene, but you know, if if Nintendo wants to be taken as you know a more serious publisher, developer, blah blah blah. You know they're they're gonna have at to least, show they're gonna have to show support for Smash. At, at least with the competitive scene, you see what it's like with the competitive exactly. scene with uh, Smash. The the Smash community gets no, <laughs> they get no love from Nintendo. Nintendo's like because what? And as we I, I'm pretty sure as old as we all said in this room before, you know if you punch kick and you put combos together, it's a fighting game. So people are gonna take it competitively. So you know you're gonna have to listen to the fans. Like you're gonna have to support the game after it's released. You can't just re release the game and be like. Okay, buy like thanks for buying it. Like you have to support it. I mean, I'm not I'm not asking for DLC right now. I'm not asking for anything like that. I'm a, I'm just asking for if the game's significantly broken, fix it. Well, or at least an aspect of it. Well, like I, your head. like I was saying before, <laughs> you always have the fans supporting the game. So yeah, the fans. They'll that's always, why I'm just saying. That's why Smash competitive always, since Melee. That's why smash has been where it is now besides do you want to do you yeah. think at some do you really think that like once smash comes out sakurai will be like i'll still focus on this game or, no. he, or his team will like keep in mind it's namco bandai that are working on this once this game is done they're gonna move on to whatever else they're gonna do what happened? they might not be able to like, come and work on the game some more now here's an example kid icarus uprising that had quite a com uh, competitive community uh building quite strong people post videos on it uh what happened to that Sakurai and Team Sora dropped it, right? Mm -hmm. Team Sora doesn't exist anymore or whatever. Happened at the time, if I remember correctly. Um, remember how, yeah, they just dropped it. They flat out just dropped it. People were getting really mad into it, and then what happens? Nintendo doesn't care no more. The game's done, it's sold, it did its thing. What does Nintendo care as long as they make the money back, right? Oh, well, they're gonna make the money back then some, but... I'm I just, just don't think that, even with Evo, even what happened with Evo, there was a large number of people, more people watching Smash, I think, than uh, most of the other tournaments. I don't know about that. Uh, maybe. There was, good there was a good number. The, the point is, there was a good number of people, and I would hope that that, you know, shows them, hey, we exist. Now, <laughs> what other way can you put it? Hey, Nintendo, notice us today. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that Will Nintendo n That's Senpai so notice me today? Oh, so. Anyway, guys, this. This has been our first episode of Smash Talk. Appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's a, a good, good note. That's a good yeah. way to end actually. Oh, I got wrecked. Oh, anyway, that was great. Anyway, this is our first episode oh. of Smash Talk from Press Life for Options. I thank you guys for tuning in. This is Matt, Jeremy, Fred, and Jeff signing out. Check us again and check us again out again. You know, for another episode of Smash Talk, and uh, hopefully you'll come in and listen. All right, guys. Oh. Fuck you, Wolf. Yeah, fuck.